Hey guys, Crypto Sunday, and it's an extremely red week uh, in the crypto markets. This is just under 38,000 down for the week. Uh, lots of sort of negative sentiment going around. Lots of uh, reasons for this, I think. Uh, most people seem to be sort of linking this partly to the Fed's actions. So sort of talked about yesterday, um, the Fed sort of were... Uh, reducing their uh, QE by sort of 30 billion a month so they're going to be done by March uh, they're now saying they will be sort of reducing the balance sheet after they've uh, finished uh, QE so they won't just let it sort of plateau and um, they're going to be reducing it quite actively and probably rate rises if not uh, March then probably April and uh, sort of three the three this year so yeah that's sort of hitting the uh they're sort of comparing it to unprofitable tech stocks so sort of if you were to take the uh, the fang out of the nasdaq then i think they're saying that sort of correlates quite well um but these sort of correlations don't tend to last all that long if you look um it has sort of been correlated to gold when uh, the qe was starting um, so, yeah, I'm not sure the long-term correlation is there, really. But, uh, yeah, they're saying, sort of expecting uh, maybe a, a rough time in the next few months from um, the tightening and rate rises, potentially. Uh, also pointing to the shutdown on mining in uh, Kazakhstan, or sort of shutting down the whole internet, pretty much. Um, yeah. The hash rate sort of plunging 12%, um, implying the network isn't as secure. Uh, I would sort of point out the uh, the total hash rate, um, which, yeah, you sort of see the spike in the middle here is the China sell-off in the last year. Um, so we went down to sort of, yeah, about... 84 85 million uh, and then sort of in the last 60 days we have dropped sort of it reached over 200 million but it's dropped back down to uh, about 175 so yeah you look on i mean look on the six months this is sort of rising up um from the china ban you basically can't even see it. So, yeah, I think it's a bit overblown to sort of say Kazakhstan is going to cause any major issues. I mean, there's uh, North American miners, you know, Argo, we talk about uh, Riot Blockchain and all the others sort of throwing up facilities, it seems, to, uh, to sort of get mining going. So, yeah, Kazakhstan sort of dropping off. Don't think he's going to make much of anything, really. So, yeah, a little bit overblown. It's not going to uh, suddenly affect the network security or anything like that. I think that's all uh, a little bit of FUD, to be honest. Uh, so, yeah, looking at the uh, some of the coins for the week. Uh, Bitcoin down 12%. Not, uh, not too good. Sort of holding, hoping to hold the $40,000. If we drop below that, could be uh, could be a rough time. It's a fairly significant level. Ethereum doing a bit worse, seventeen percent, where that had been uh, outperforming Bitcoin for a little while. Uh, Cardano fourteen percent. So a lot of these coins are going to be doing worse than um, worse than Bitcoin. Power Ledger sort of had a uh, a reasonable spike up again from going down so sort of on the monthly still doing pretty good it had sort of pulled back to uh, sort of 35 35 pence but uh, yeah pretty flat for the week so i wouldn't be selling this i don't think just yet it's very tempting to uh, take that profit um yeah because i'm yeah, still very uh, very green on Power Ledger. It's just showing red for the week. Uh, OMG, 14%. Pretty, uh, 
pretty much similar to the rest. Litecoin, same, 13%. Basic attention token had a bit more of a rough week, nearly 20. Uh, XRP, 12, basically the same as Bitcoin. Stellar's done a little bit better, just under 10%. Tron, 15%, no surprise there. Uh, Boba Network, 12%. Internet computer actually outperforming pretty much everything. 27% up for the week. So I did buy some in the uh, sort of £19 range. So that's looking a, a reasonable buy considering what's going on. Uh, New Cypher, 20% nearly down. Coco, 18, 19. Uh, EOS, 12. Solana, 21% nearly. Now, I have got £500 probably uh, this coming week to uh, to buy something. Uh, so, wondering sort of whether to buy one of the other altcoins or maybe get a bit more into the uh, NFTs. Uh, so, I've got 19.6... Yeah, I've put 19.6 sol here, but uh, it is actually all in NFTs. And I'm actually up now from... Sort of making a few mistakes early on. Uh, I'm now sort of at about 21, 22 sol, I think. So, yeah, some of them are still a little bit down. So, I think while sentiment is sort of a bit rough and Solana's cheap, maybe putting that £500 into, uh, into Solana and buying some more NFTs. But we'll see what the price does midweek. Uh, Dash... Yeah, outperforming, 4%, not too bad. Obviously still down on the on the long term. 13% uh, down on Anchor, Audius, 21. I was sort of thinking, yeah, this is under a pound. I could be uh, putting some more into this, but I did look at the uh, dashboards that I chewed before and they're not really growing users uh, much of much at all. Uh, I haven't seen any news of the uh, investment, sort of, that uh, the big names, Katy Perry or or them, sort of, doesn't seem to be bearing any fruit, if you like. Um, so sort of that was September time, I think. thought something may have happened by now. So, yeah, considering uh, putting some in this, but I would probably want to see some reasonable development, sort of uh, good news but the price dropping overall because of the market would be ideal. Um, and then band 4%, Quantstamp 18 and Crypto.com coin, really not doing well, 22%. So, yeah, a bit uh, obviously red all over the portfolio. Altcoin's mostly doing worse than Bitcoin, as expected. But, uh, yeah... We may have bottomed here, we may not. Uh, it may continue sort of going down with the uh, with the tech stocks as the Fed keeps tightening. So, we'll have to see. Um, so, leave your thoughts in the uh, comments below and uh, like and subscribe. See you soon.